by the time it's done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah, yeah maybe it's like... It's like here four days at a time, and then he leaves again, mm -hmm. so... And the CD's getting printed right now? In, like, a week. Okay. Less Finalizing than a week. design. With the pictures and everything like that for yeah. the... Okay. Yeah, the pictures are done. Looks like it's... Caroline Keating. I'm a songwriter, singer, musician. I'm from Quebec City originally. I moved to Montreal when I was 17 to go to straight out of high school to go to CJEP here. Um, and I've kind of been playing music in the city ever since, kind of. I moved to the city like actual Montreal two years later, around 19. And uh, yeah, moving to Montreal was just kind of this crazy experience because in Quebec there is a music scene, but it's more of like a punk rock music scene, which is pretty cool in itself. But then moving to Montreal, I just got exposed to so much talent. When I moved here about seven years ago, that's I don't want to say that's when it started here, but it was definitely like in the middle of exploding. So Arcade Fire, The Stills, Stars, Broken Social Scene were like, <clears throat> really like happening. So in God, Godspeed G Black Emperor. Sorry. <clears throat> and um, yeah, so there's so many local shows, and I was so young, and I couldn't believe the music that was just suddenly open to me. I didn't realize you could write music that way. Like it was just so incredible. And um, I started playing shows around 18, just going to like cafes that had pianos in them and just randomly going and playing like impromptu shows. Um, I think that Montreal is definitely geographically divided in a certain way. Like 
you li I live in Myland right now, and um, there's a whole music scene that's happening there. And even within, mu e even within Myland, there are like sub genres and different kinds of music going on. But then if you go to like uh, St. Henry, they have their own kind of music vibe going on there, and NDG as well. So you have music kind of happening all over, all over the place. It's definitely good for a sense of community. Um, you're like neighbors with people that you're playing with and you just go to each other's houses and like write, perform, sing, whatever. Um, you meet people a lot easier in that way. What do you think it is about the city that kind of attracts artists? A lot of people think that it's cheap rent and cheap living, which I think is a big part of it, but I think that an even bigger part of Montreal that makes it so special is people will just play with you for free because they love to play music and they'll just give you their time and their talents and contribute and then maybe like three months down the line you're going to help them out with something. There's just really like this sense of community in Montreal. Like I think maybe in other cities there's a bit of a competition maybe feeling to a music scene whereas in Montreal you go to other people's shows, like there's a lot of like local shows that go on um, with smaller promoters and um, you support each other. There's a really huge support for musicians in Montreal, like from public to musicians. Yeah. Um, I, for me personally, I, 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 I see it's, it's very easy to get your music out in the city. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Like Definitely. That? You just have to be brave enough to do it. Mm -hmm. um, because you could be playing, it's really about the venues you're playing too. Like you could, like I, I started off by just going to random cafes and just playing. You know, I was playing like near Berry Cam in some grimy cafe bar place and then moved up to uh, Depanard Cafe on Bernard. And then eventually um, Dan Seligman from Pop Montreal was just having a coffee there and was like, oh, why don't you play fringe pop during fringe this year? Like that was in couple years ago and that's really when I started playing gigs that were promoted and started networking and meeting all kinds of people. Um, yeah, but it's like kind of hard. I mean, like I said, you're performing for other musicians too sometimes. It depends on your personality, but I found it a little bit hard at first to just kind of get out of the context of playing in my room and for complete strangers and for like actually performing as a show. Um, but yeah, then once I did it, I loved doing it. I ran into this friend of mine who used to live in Montreal. We studied at Concordia together in art history. And even not even just for musicians, like for visual artists, for all artists in general. And um, she was saying she had to leave because it was nev she called Montreal Never Neverland. Like you could just stay here forever and li live so comfortably and not have to work this crazy job like you might in Toronto to have to pay rent. You can afford your rent and have time for your art, but maybe there isn't that fuel underneath you to like really take it a step farther if you can kind of plateau at some point if you just get comfortable like you say and not really push. But that being said, there's such a network that you can get further. You just have to know how to take advantage of it, which might sound the bad way of putting it, but yeah. That's a really interesting question. Um, because I, I, I met this girl from France at a party a few weeks ago, and she was saying she couldn't believe how Montreal was so linguistically divided. Like, if you go to an English-speaking party, most of the people there are like Anglos. Maybe they're Anglo Montrealers, but mostly they're Anglo from elsewhere and they all just kind of stick together. And the same with French people. They just, you know, they, it's very rare that they'll intermingle. Um, do I think it's hard for musicians to, like, that are Anglo to play in the French scene or the Francophone musicians to play in the English scene? I think that actually it's easier as an Anglophone to break into the French scene. I think that contrary to perhaps belief that Quebecers are a bit more open to like supporting different kind of English culture that's coming in like especially music wise and I think that maybe Francophones have a bit a much a bit of a harder time because there's this assumption that there's this you know Quebec has like so many grants and so many like they have their own Francophone scene going on but 
Uh, I think Pop Montreal does a pretty good job at including a lot of French acts in their yearly programming. And M for Montreal is another festival that, or showcase rather, that I think even pushes Francophone acts to be a bit more exposed. Um, I think that in recent years, like the last two, three years, there's been a lot more of like a mix French French opening act and an English act or vice versa, which I think is amazing. I'd love to see more of that. Um, hmm. I guess a bit more directed to your music and, and, uh, and concerning future projects or anything like that. What memoir or? I'm releasing my record on April 12th, so in a month at Chapelle Saint Louis. Um, it's going to be amazing. I've been working on this record for a little while now, so it's nice to finally give birth to it and let it live on its own. Like sending it off to college, get out of my house, <laughs> like moving on to the next thing. Mm -hmm. And any tour plans? Yeah, I'm going to tour Europe in September and um, tentatively Canadian summer dates working out right now. So. I'd love to talk to you about oh, this place. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was going yeah. to get to. So, um, what is your involvement with Piano Montreal? Um, Montreal Pianos are um, two generations. It's a family-run business, originally from Slovenia. Um, father and son hammering it out back there. Um, they, fa they repair pianos that are beyond repair sometimes, <clears throat> especially Heinzmann's. They rent them out. As well, I rented mine from uh, Montreal Pianos for my recording, and um, that's why I have. That's why I'm sitting in this store right now, talking to you. Um, Louis Senior and Louis Junior, and um, they're they're also like very much involved with like Montreal's indie scene. Like a lot of people, like Patrick Watson, rents out his pianos from here. Lassa as well, you know, did. That's fine. Um, a lot of Montreal local musicians tend to rent out um, pianos from here. They're like just very artist friendly, obviously. So I am Lou Larson, which when I started the business, 1969, for the rebuilding pianos generally, from outside to inside. As a new pins and strings, new hammerheads, new refinishing on, on all these jobs. On we're still doing now with my son. To be like a family affair business. <laughs> to carry on. Yeah, to carrying on. Because when it's built up like this, it's easy to carry over. And that, that's my opinion. I can say that uh, Montreal is very, very well built city for many different nationality, and that's why it's so much business very well with the music, very good. Even festival, the jazz and all these things they build up, it's on good cinema, I mean, with the Place des Arts and all these things, which is mean good. McGill too, University of McGill, I rebuilt it for them, 15 grand pianos, or Radio Canada too, we rebuild them. That's how they go for it, in very well city as a music. I was uh, learning my trade in Austria with my father, and then I go to Germany for mechanical work, then I asked immigration department in Stuttgart if I can immigrate to Canada. That was 1957. And they say, yes, we need that kind of a trades people. And they pay it for me to come here. But uh, they say, especially Montreal. Because what's here, four or five company, they build the pianos. Willis, Lassage. Lindsay's, all this type of uh, pianos was built here. Yeah. Their kids come here and they, they play sometimes in the summertime. If you look around, like, it's kind of like a second home or something. Like, you have little feelings of their personality coming through on the, the walls. And, yeah. I mean, I think it's like a give and take thing. Like, 
we also give them business, you know what I mean? Like, I rented my piano out from them here, and now they're letting me do this, like, and then I'm going to tell my friends, like, if you want a piano tuner, come see these people, you know, word of mouth, and that's what kind of keeps, like, a family-run business like this alive, too, you know? Montreal, you took me out Showed me crooked rooftops and cotton mouths and you Tore off your clothes to keep me warm And I think I'm gonna need a little time to myself Time apart has always done us well. Time apart has always done us well. You say it's for the best, but do you mean it for the rest? You're burning to the ground And you hope it's never found But we built We built another one So break me down You say it's for the best we do.